For border border riders to operate in Kampala, they are required to have registered with the division offices of the area in which they operate. They should also have undergone training at the Uganda Driving Standards Agency. They should also be able to read and interpret road signs. They must also have a driving permit at the gazetted stage where they operate. The process of registration was early this week re-emphasized for 14 days, running until 30th August, but this has suffered a setback. There's been little or no activity since Monday. We're just beginning to pick up this morning. There have been challenges regarding the, lo the location of the census points. Some of the locations didn't have power. Some of them didn't have internet. Uh, and we had to also install our IT infrastructure in these locations. And you also had to train data entrance. These processes took a little bit of time. But as we speak now, 50% of the census points that have been communicated to the public are operational. Although Riyimbaz says the registration exercise picked up this morning, one of the centers set up by KCC at Bad Valley Primary School had no business going on by the time we visited. Uh, currently operating at about 50% capacity. We should be at 100% capacity tomorrow. So, and we, we are still hopeful that we shall, we are still, I mean, still optimistic that the deadline given to us by the Prime Minister of 1st September shall be achieved. The registration of border borders started in March, championed by resident district commissioners in the five divisions of Kampala. The 35,000 plus that have been registered are part of those that have been registered but not yet trained. Now, we have those who have registered and gone on to train. Those are the 10,000 that we have here. So not everyone who has been registered has gone on to train. Mr. Kabanda, the Minister for Kampala, states that both commercial and non-commercial border border riders are required to register and be trained. Tukutukus are also involved in this. We also have big cycles used for leisure. Those are diggy diggies or bikers should be trained and registered. The registration of border borders will inform the decision on how many stages should be designated in the city and in which areas. Raymond Tamale, NTV.